tool called the Scoville scale measures a pepper's heat or intensity based on its capsaicin level. For context, a jalapeno is at 7,000 Scoville. An orange habanero, 250,000 Scoville. The spiciness of the one chip challenge, about 1.5 million Scoville, which puts it pretty close to the top of the scale you see right here. Okay, so how hot is too hot and when does spicy become dangerous? I wanna bring in WBZ's Dr. Malika Marshall right now. And doctor, how does something like the one chip challenge put people at risk? Okay, so first of all, it's capsaicin, which makes chili peppers spicy. And as the levels of capsaicin increase, so do the potential dangers. Now the compound can obviously irritate the mouth and throat, but it can also cause nausea and vomiting and stomach pain and in very large doses can cause more serious problems like allergic reactions or damage to the esophagus, rapid heart rate, chest pain, trouble breathing, and even heart attacks. Wow, okay, so who should be avoiding these spicy foods? Because a lot of people like them. Of course, yeah, I know. And there are even television shows right? that <laughs> use Devoted them. Devoted to this. You know, kids and teens and adults with underlying medical problems Things like heart disease should really avoid very, very spicy foods. Okay, and we should all, even if we are not necessarily in one of those groups, take this seriously, particularly those of us who are parents. Yes, absolutely. I mean, poison control has taken it seriously. They were so worried about it that they actually put out advisories about the dangers of the one chip challenge. Now, like Tiffany said, that product has since been pulled from store shelves, but parents really should warn their kids to stay away from any other social media challenges of this kind or resist peer pressure to eat dangerously spicy foods. Of course, if you or your child develop trouble breathing or chest pain after eating capsaicin, you have to call 911 right away. All right, doctor, thank you. Appreciate it. Paula? All right, Lisa Malika, thanks.